Jeez. All right, you done now? You ready now? Like seriously? Yes, ready I'm now? actually. I'm actually ready now. <laughs> so me and Nick fixed some stuff yesterday because some stuff had to be fixed. Yes, um, obviously. But today, if not, I wouldn't be up at this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Else he would be up at 14 or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, today, as I mentioned, just for the YouTube video as well, we are gonna fix all the schedule things, all the structural things, all the must-needed boring shit that has to be fixed for you to have, you know, overall structure so you can focus 100% on the actual game. Yeah, this is something I'm big on, so obviously this is something that has to be done. And Nick... I will call him Nick, guys. I'm not calling him in the box, and I will always call him Nick. <laughs> Continue doing that. It's like half degenerate, so we need to fix the degeneracy so that he can be. No, but it's chat. it's for all you guys. It's for all you guys. So I'm more relatable. So I'm like. Yeah, he's very relatable. <laughs> so I'm just like you guys, right? Hopefully, or maybe I'm not, even more. Not hopefully. Not hopefully. Obviously, no. I mean, my chat. There's no degenerates. They're all, you know, enlightened. So. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they're all enlightened. Anyways, let's start. Uh, talk me through like uh, the schedule you have now. Uh, well, we just write it down. Obviously, well, it's my schedule. There is no schedule because there's nothing that happens on a daily basis. Other than before, it was obviously scrims at between 13 and 14. So it would start. So I would be up like between 11 and 12. But so I'll write from, from 10 to 12. I'm but, not sure when wake up. Maybe wake but, up. <laughs> no, but I think, like, do you want to get the full schedule of what I used to do? No, what you have now, like what you have right now. Well, I, today I woke up at nine. Okay, before today. Okay, just before for comedy. Today, for comedy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I guess it's a good like before and after. So it's like, yeah, I no, for sure I would never wake up at tw ten. By the way, it would be between eleven and twelve consistently. Like, like between eleven and twelve, and then some days. I would go off the wazoo and not be able to sleep and like maybe wake up at 13. Like, but that's maybe 12.30 or something. But like, consistently it was between 11 and 12. Then I would have scrims from like anywhere between, like it would start from 13 to 14 pretty much. Like, you know, we would have a meeting or something. It's like prep, prep for scrims meeting, and then yeah. you would have like 14 to 19 most of the time. You would go... Games. Uh, yeah, you know, games, whatever. Maybe even 20, like, depending. Maybe it drags out. Maybe you play one more. Maybe there's a remake, you know, like. Yeah. Um, Let's do 20. So, so yeah, like, most of the time you would honestly be done at, like, done at 19, 30, maybe 20. So, uh, you wrote 12, by the way. And. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then, like, from there, I would usually get food. Maybe chill for, like, an hour max. Like, do something else, you know? And then get food, and then play solo queue. Like, at t t 21, I would start playing solo queue. So between 20 and 21, I would, like, mo mostly just uh, do just nothing. Right, chill. Yeah, chill. And then, like, chill and maybe eat. And then 21 to, like, I don't know, until I stop rage queuing, like, fucking 2 a.m. or something. Like, e maybe even later than that. Then, like, I probably 2 a.m. I rage queue, and then... I would, oh, not rage queue, but you know what? Yes, yeah. you, you I queue. honestly pretty much rage queue. And then, to, let, let's call it what it is. It was rage queuing. Uh, two seconds. So. Um, and then I would like maybe chill on YouTube for like an hour and then I would go to bed and then I would repeat. Rinse and repeat. Or maybe like, yeah, talk to, I don't know. Like some, pr like while I was rage queuing, I would talk to people, and mm -hmm. it was a pretty horrible schedule. Saying it out loud, holy shit! <laughs> yeah, when you actually see it, yes. <laughs> I currently LFC as coach. Uh, no, I'm not. Right. I'm not. I have right. I have the trials that I want, basically, if I want them. But uh, I'm not sure if I want to coach. It depends on a lot of things. Right. Um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, yeah, that's not important right now. But yes, Nick, this is yeah. your schedule. What about eating and stuff? When do you eat? Is it just? Uh, random? it would be no, no. It would be before scrims. Um. So here. Yeah, I would always eat before scrims. Uh, then I would, like, uh, almost always like, eat during scrims as well. So like, I would make some food, 
eat some before, and then like after third game or whatever or fourth game, I was like, I'm hungry now. I go eat again. Like you know, between games, I just take like a small portion, mm. and then I would eat after scrims usually. Like I, I would kind of if it depended on the you know the situation, but then I would chill in that one hour. Either I would just like take some of the food I already ate, uh, or, or take some of the food I already made, or make like a little bit more. Like for example, sometimes I would just make a pizza at like twenty three, uh, or like uh, eleven a, uh, p.m. Mm. and just eat that, like eat like a slice every, I don't know. Uh, Every uh, like half an hour or something until I went to bed. Right. So, th <laughs> so eating wise, also not uh, too good. You would say. It it was like honestly, it wasn't that bad. I would w eat when I wake up before scrims. I would like t you know, eat a little bit during scrims. Then I would eat afterwards, and then I would eat like if I got hungry in the night. If not, I would just go to bed. Yeah. yeah. But like. It's not like it wasn't like oh I have like meal prepped everything and stuff so like for sure it could be way better. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we want to we don't want him to be rank one <laughs> once. We want him to be the rank one player that can get it whenever he wants. Um, already now, even with half the generacy, he's still pretty high up there. Uh, still pretty high up there, even with this schedule. You know, that speaks a little bit to the skill. Um, but with the right structure and the right mentality, it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I'm going sky high. But maybe I'm downplaying it a little bit, but I'm, that's what I think. It shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Um, <coughs> there was, so that's there what was... we're trying to do. What did you want to say? Yeah, getting consistent good solo queue habit is like the best thing if you actually want to climb. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, for sure. Consistency is what you need in solo queue. Um, and obviously, we are not trying to make him into a solo queue player. We're trying to make him better uh, in competitive and not in solo queue. Uh, I mean, also in solo queue, but as a competitive it's player, because his end goal is obviously to get to the highest level possible. It's um, like uh, becoming the best player possible. Yeah. It's like. You know, probably there's better solo queue players than, I don't know, Showmaker, but when Showmaker came to EU, he still, still completely molly flopped the ladder, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so. and he's obviously a competitive player, so regardless, like, yeah. competitive stuff will also make you just overall better in solo queue, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's also what we're trying to replicate. Uh, let's make your actual schedule. Let's keep this one just just so you can see it. But let's make your actual schedule. Obviously, we don't want to wake up too early. Uh, and what I mean by that is we don't want to wake up at like 5, 6, 7 a.m. There's no reason <laughs> for that. It's also would be really bad for like if, when you're actually screaming and playing competitive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, want, we, <laughs> want have to, a <laughs> we want to keep a schedule that you can use also when you are on season. You know, like hmm. competitive play. Um, so... I would I say wake up at nine, ten. Yeah, I would say honestly nine, because yeah. I'm thinking like, okay, eight hours of sleep would be one a.m. Yes, and I think that, that that's that's very like, my schedule is go to sleep at twenty four or one a.m. and then I wake up at nine, and that's completely fine, right? You don't want to wake up too early because we are league players, and that that, that doesn't make any sense. So nine. Uh, yeah. Let's just do nine flat. Wake up. Yeah. To nine thirty, forty. Let's just go with forty for now. Uh, walk slash run. Yeah. And I don't know how big you are on cold showers, but it's very Bro. nice for me. Cold um, showers are something I only do during the summer. Okay. And maybe when I was in Spain on Mad Lines, we did some like we did some cold exposure with like ice water and stuff, and that was fine. But like when I'm waking up, no shot. Like I, that I'm would be after your run or your walk. So you're already like 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, warmed up. For now, for now uh, I'm doing my nice and hot showers. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I <laughs> I never. I always do cold showers. I never do hot showers anymore. But in the beginning, it's obviously uh, it's just mental things. I never ever take like hot showers anymore. Taking a cold shower instead of a hot shower when my my sleep schedule is shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's just uh, if you do it in the morning, you literally feel you know poof. You feel like literally. there's a boom in your head and you're ready. It's like so. doing a line. Yes, it's yeah, basically, basically. I mean, I don't know that, guys. I've never done that, but <laughs> yeah, no, I've never done cold showers either. But I'm imagining that's what is. Thank you, cold shower. Shut up, shut up, little bit. Um, oh, I need food. You need food here, yeah. You need food here. Uh, so let's do coaching at ten thirty. Ten thirty, to um, or eleven, because you know, as I said, like. No, that's, that, that's whatever. We, we will take breaks once in a while. Uh, I'm just like thinking about some stuff. But yeah, uh, food, then uh, 10.30. No, not 11. 10.30 we will do coaching. So until 13, you know, we do the first part of the session. Mm -hmm. um, coaching, you know, that everything is in here. What's everything? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't think I will write. No, that doesn't matter. That's not important. And then 13 until... 14.30, break, cook foods, and then have like have it ready so that you don't have to, like next time we, we will we will then start coaching again at, at 14.30 until, uh, let's just go with 18 for now, maybe 17, depends yeah. on some stuff, right? Let's just do 17 for now, that's already 7 hours, almost, and then here, you're done, yep. foods, walk, you know, in, in your break you should also do something. You know, like walk, for example. Uh, but maybe not too much walking. I'm just in your break. Just you know, go get some fresh air. Um, meditate, maybe. Uh, maybe do coaching. Can I like obviously drink water, snacks, no. like foods, um, healthy snacks, stuff like that. Uh, you know, just to <laughs> keep the sugar. What's it called? Like blood sugar. Uh, neutral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neutral, so that you don't be like you don't end up being a little bit fucked in the head. But yeah, in, in this time span, we'll probably do three games. And in this time span, probably also three games or two. Depends. But like five to six games, that's, that's like fine. Every day. Uh, and then Saturday, Sunday, maybe some other stuff come up. And yeah, maybe some other stuff, you know, here I think, also come up. Uh, yes. Uh, how I don't know how your schedule is, but for me, like, I don't have anything planned on weekends or something. I just have like... Uh, yeah, it kind of depends. You like, know. I, I just have like every day is the same for me. You know, like nothing yeah. special happens on Sunday, so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. off days for me would just be like a random Wednesday when something is happening. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't have anything planned, but sometimes I have to do certain things here and there. That just comes up naturally. It's not something I plan. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Saturday, Sunday is pretty much the same as well for me, but sometimes I have to go somewhere. Or do some certain things. So obviously that's something we have to coordinate. But at least coaching four or five times a week. Yeah. Okay. So now obviously comes like the the big one, because at 18 you're done with me. We could probably continue at this point, but uh, it can also become think, too much. Yeah. You know? No. I think it's just. Oh, I think. Yeah. It would just be like figure out something to do. Honestly. Yeah. Because so, I mean, something you can do is. Uh, you know, read, for example, uh, to, to, you know, grow your attention span back. Maybe it's already fucked. Maybe it's not. It's completely off the wazoo. As, like, yeah. my attention span is, is, yeah, that, that's, is like, that, that's not good. That's two not good. seconds, unironically. Like, <laughs> that, that's not good. That has to be fixed um, very, <laughs> but, very okay. fast. But it's also possible. You just have yeah. to be disciplined. It's literally about being disciplined. I think it's like cleaning, maybe. I don't know, like spending some time doing like other stuff. Yeah, but the, the stuff like... that we write down is important because we can do like write down other stuff, but then you end up being like, okay, uh, what stuff? And then you end up doing nothing, nothing relevant. So for example, right now I have the, like the Witcher book, you know, the Witcher. Yeah. Uh, I haven't started reading it. Like I haven't started reading it yet, but I will start reading it soon. I bought this book so long ago and I read 40 pages. And I never read it in it again, but yes. it's so interesting. Uh, a book that you actually enjoy and just read it for one hour. Just one hour. If you read it for two hours, it can become very annoying. Uh, oh, I yeah, would I say reading here. I think this is going to be fucking hardcore for me. But yeah. I'm going to... Like, 
legit this is gonna be iron man challenge like <laughs> holy moly yes. so i'm gonna i'm gonna put an alarm let's, at 18. let's the uh, let's, let's do every day let's do 18 30 for now uh, and then you can work your way up it can be very annoying or <laughs> one like, hour of reading for a league player is like it's like yes yeah, no it's not it it's literally doing the iron man challenge for a normal person yeah uh yeah, this is a way to grow your attention span back, and attention span is so fucking important for many reasons. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just go with that for now. 18.30 should be durable. And then 18.30 until 22. I think it's fine to play solo queue again if you want. For me, like 18.30 to like, I don't know, 19 or something. The ideal for me would be like cleaning maybe a bit. Yeah, I mean, that's also good. Like, yeah, but like, that's also good. other than that, it would be like, uh, I think mostly the, like, you know, like free it's time. Like relaxing. maybe I want to go t talk to some friends on Discord or, mm -hmm. I don't know, go out. Generally, I think. generally, what I think about like free time, right, is that when you're done with your day, that's when you have free time instead of like setting free time. You know, let's say we say we said free time here. Yeah, uh, no, that's not good. Yeah, so when you have free time, I would say when you're like just done with your day, that's when you can do like free time. And the free time can be like three, four hours. You already have been very productive if you keep to this schedule yeah, exactly. already. So you have been very productive throughout the day. Um, so I would say like uh, 19 to 24 at this point. It's a lot of hours, but yeah, it also has to be realistic, right? Free time, you can stream if you want. Yeah, you for me this would be like streaming, solo queue and like doing nothing. Like uh, hanging out with friends, yeah. talking to, like watching a movie, hanging out with my roommate. There's so many, so many things to do. Or like, there's a lot of things. Um, and like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like this would be like 20 times what I had before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, it has to be realistic, right? So, you know, it just has to be something that you can literally follow. Without it being uh, like really fucking annoying, right? <laughs> <laughs> of the devices. Like this could also maybe for me this is probably more optimal to say reading in during the night before I go to bed. Yeah, but then what would you do here? You know, that's the that's the thing. Yeah, no, th but this, for example, then I would go <laughs> clean some stuff. I don't know. Like it's like yeah, it's something I'm gonna have to like test a little bit. I think I'm gonna put a timer now for that's 24. That's a fucking long time uh, cleaning. Uh, no, not okay. for one hour, but like, it's like, for example, like, I don't know, like, there's laundry, I have to, maybe the kitchen, like, the living room, I don't know, yeah. I live in a big apartment, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's stuff to do always, like, and I'm not good at doing it, so, like, I probably won't spend one hour every day cleaning, but it's like... It's taking care of stuff you have to yeah. take care of. Yeah, it could even be like, oh, I need to answer this message, or maybe I have to set up some streaming stuff, I don't know, you know, like, there, there's always, like, random two-minute or five-minute tasks you have to do, I feel like. You know, you remember I talked to you about, you know, I have a, like a book where I read stuff. I not read stuff, but I write stuff. Write stuff, yes. Yeah, that's something you could do uh, as well at this time. So before you go to bed, you write things down that, uh, you know, you just yeah. write about your day. Uh, basically like a journal or a diary or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, so you could write stuff down that is relevant to you uh, mm. at this point. So... Maybe I would go, yeah, 24 is fine. Slash. There's, I don't know. Okay, look, this, this you, already have, you already have your first doubter. He's saying there's no actual way this guy is going to stick to this. Like, and that's the thing. It's not about, for me at least, it's not about sticking to this tomorrow. No. That's a fail. It's about, okay, like today, good job me. I woke up at 9 a.m. Like, on a runny, good job me. I'm happy I did that. And then it's like, uh, I also took a shower, of course, but then tomorrow I'm gonna go for a walk and then take a shower and then obviously eat food. That's uh, like very human to do. Then the day after, I'm gonna be like, okay, it's really important that I, you know, like uh, read before bed. And then I'm gonna like, like set the alarm and, and read before bed. It's not about like, oh, I'm doing this from day one. It's like, no, I'm slowly trying to create the habits to do this. Like this is the end goal. Exactly. If you go from 0 to 100, you're probably going to fail. Uh, so that's again why we are not going to start coaching tomorrow. He has to gradually work his way up there. And then when he starts uh, being like here, obviously right now there's coaching. But before that, there will just be solo queue. Mm -hmm. um, when he starts becoming you know, a little bit more human, that's when you start coaching. And then you know, I will constantly remind him of the schedule. I'll talk to him about the schedule. If there's something he wants to change, something he thinks... 
it's not good, something you just cannot stick to. For example, the same thing here with the Soul Tree If you can stick to it, then we just remove it. Um, because it's not about making the perfect human being or the perfect efficiency. It's about being more efficient. Yeah, it's just it's about like being more efficient so that you don't have a little bit. So you don't end up having this garbage. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. That's that's the goal. It's just to be more efficient. Now let's it's keep like it here. Let's keep it here as a reminder. No, yeah, you should keep it. You should keep it. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's write one sec, one sec, one sec. I have good thing here. Decent schedule. Sheesh. Let's make it big. In the middle. And then we then we go like this. We go like this. One sec, one. Giga chat. Oh my god. That's the one. That's the one. Holy moly. I don't have the. There it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Are you satisfied with the schedule? Honestly, yeah. All right. Then we move on. Uh, this is probably a little bit more, more fun, more enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. For you and for viewers. Um, so obviously it's important that when you play solo queue, you have a tiny pool that you can always stick to, and especially in, on ADC role, you don't need a lot of champions. They are Somewhat similar, but some are stronger than others, and some are better in other situations. So mm. we need to have at least four champions that fit every situation, and we'll always have him in a good spot in the game. So that's what we're gonna do now. He's made his personal best, so this is his, you know, personal tier list, mm. and then this is the tier list we will make now of like the actual uh, champions right now in the in the patch. So, yeah. well, let's let's start with the. Uh, I, I, I have a pretty like, for me it would be like S tier is like, MF, Seraphine. Yes. Severe, possibly, MF, Seraphine, Severe are for sure like the most piss of broken champs right now. I think, like it, in solo queue maybe Severe is not as OP, but I would say she's still pretty OP. I think and she's then, still really fine in solo queue. And then. Uh, I'm not sure if Caitlyn is S or A tier. I wouldn't say I, Caitlyn is S because... I think she's A. I think she's A. Yeah, I would say Caitlyn isn't S because it's very possible to, to draft yeah. into. But yes. if you give her it's like, a I'm spot, thinking like, GG, if, I have Caitlyn, if I have Caitlyn and any have MF, it's like, okay, it's, it's like completely like MF favored. But at the same time, it's like, if I have Caitlyn into, you know, I don't know, Draven or something, I'm like, okay, I'm chilling. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's write down. Is every... there any more S tier champs? Like to me, those are like mm -hmm. the most OP champs. In solo queue, maybe Draven is S tier as well. Um, but... yeah, <laughs> I mean Draven is S tier in solo queue, but I think it's very possible to play against for you. Yes, you have very you have very good champions against the Draven, so I wouldn't mind yeah. playing in the Draven at all. Uh, yeah, but I don't, yes. I don't care either. And then individually, yeah, I guess it's yeah. decent. I personally still think Soraka is the most piss OP champ, but I think she's more OP on support, but I think, honestly, like, this champ is I mean, the, as well. the champion is very disgusting, for sure. Um, but like, I, for actual carry, this. carry potential, yeah. uh, I wouldn't... I, if we get the perfect Soraka game, probably, we can pick it, but... Yeah. No, th like, it was it one of... Like, I, was, I was spamming Jinx, Soraka, and... I think those were the two champs I was spamming when I was hit rank 4. Uh, those were the only two champs I was playing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was also like four months ago, so. And I think that's it to me, at least. I don't think there's any more like. Maybe like Senna or something like that, but like. It's not action. It's not, it's not S tier. Because it's like combos and like. Yeah. Like coordination. Communication and stuff. is very important. When yeah. You play yeah, yeah. Um, and like you, you have to go with your jungle and stuff. It's not actually not going to happen. I don't think we put anything on B uh, because it's not relevant. But just mm. these these two. I mean, I think A, a is like for me, Caitlyn Aphelios. Yeah, Aphelios is also a lot more situational. I, I think I agree with that. Like I I don't think he's actually that OP. I just think I'm so like it's in solo queue so OP to have uh, the best probably the best scaling AD and everyone is monkeys so you kill everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Like, I mean, I I agree that you know. 
if you it's also good for ganking setup and and diving setup everything he give you he kind of gives you everything but if he gets out range he just has a very hard time he's worthless but at the same time if enemies uh you know spacing like idiots and playing team fights bad it's, it doesn't matter you, yeah, your champ's yeah, just yeah. stopping yeah and that's the solo queue thing right the, yes exactly. they will they will do that so you can get value from the champion even in but we're talking about like competitive and solo queue yeah, it's like a combination. I think in in comparison, honestly, he's like between B and A, like yeah. at best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he would sure be something like here. Uh, just a lot more situational than an MF or Civil at the moment. Like MF to me is probably probably like, probably like up there for the best the best I think AD right now. She's the best AD probably, but the, yeah, there, there's Zorak and Seraphine. You know. Yeah, like there's Zorak and Seraphine and stuff like this that's like yeah. six Sundra also playable but i mean six I don't to think me Sundra is... six six to me is very very strong but Sundra is not you know Sundra she's is not, she's only not... for me into draven yeah um and into draven i would prefer to have six honestly longer range doesn't really have to touch him at any point can clear every wave so you just neutralize him and then you have uh... an insane champion my six is too bad, by the way. Like yeah, I, but I, now that, we're just talking like but the yeah, actual yeah, yeah. Pla like the patch, right? You don't even have six here, so we're not gonna play it. Yeah, no, I'm just saying like six. But yeah, six like, to me I, is, is whenever eight. I play Draven into six, I farm him because they're just then I freeze and then they're fucked. Like yeah. they they don't know how to clear the wave from max range. They don't disrespect my you know like double double uh, double W like whatever. Blah, blah. Yeah. Wait, uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about Kalista? I mean, obviously Michael, she's My Kalista right. is bad, but I don't I don't I honestly every time I play against it I smile. I have a big fat smile on my face. Yeah. But um, I, I think at best she's A tier. Yeah, I would say A tier as well. Uh, like let's have this for now. Like for I'll sure. At best. Well. I think she's very strong. Uh, Lucian, B tier. He's yeah, not good no, after he's... Nami. Nerf, sadly. I, I don't even think he was good before. I think he was fine into noobs. I don't think he was good into yes. into good players. He's fine into noobs, but like now, I now I can leak everything because we're not playing anymore. The amount of times I have gone five zero in scrims on Soraka against Lucianami <laughs> is unreal. We would kill them level two, freeze, kill them level three and four, and fight three three, and it would just be unplayable. So, like. Yeah, it's just like that's my perception of Lucian. Yeah. Like, I, you know, like I just, I you just never saw saw the champ work against <laughs> against me when I when I had Soraka or like mm. any other champ for that matter. Um, um. Yeah, I mean, I I pick Soraka a lot, not Soraka, but uh, Lucian Nami into like you know the team that I was coaching for a bit. Yeah. Into form and dive, into bounce, into like freeze into <laughs> kill 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 and it works because they're bad you know it would yeah, work yeah, yeah. against like actual good team uh, no for sure it's a it's a it has a very clear win con and yes very clear very win con and noob yes okay um, uh, twitch is there any... honestly i think twitch is a b tier champ right now yeah i, I don't think even think he's a tier like, with, with these two up here there's just no reason to go switch <laughs> Like, to me, I, like, I got twitched in game four, but it had nothing to that, do with the Twitch. That was just a horrible game. Yes. Like, horrible draft, so you couldn't play. Yes, but it had nothing, like, every time, it's the same with Kogmo and stuff. Maybe I'm overreacting a bit with the Kogmo, but, like, whenever I play Sivir into Kogmo or Twitch, I just farm, and then in mid-game, they are immobile, I have my ulti, and I still one-tap everything, because I just hit their frontliner, because they always need a frontliner. And I kill everything through them. I just, it's like, uh, like in the matchups they're good. I feel like they aren't countering hard enough. Like into Severe, where it's like, oh, Twitch into Severe is actually good. It, Severe is not worthless. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm like, why am I picking it? Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I think that's kind of it, honestly. I think like, it, maybe you could like argue f like Jinx is Kaiser, maybe Kaiser, Israel, uh, Jinx, no. Saya, Tristana, yeah. Jin. Like they are. Jin to me is is Peter, regardless yeah, of his actual lane strength. He's just a piss champion in general. Yes, I um, think. Uh, Esriel? Jinx, Israel is probably like it's hard because to me Israel is not that strong. Like maybe he's like eight tier, but like he's not actually eight tier. Like he's in between as well. Yeah, it's a, if you have perfect Israel drafts, I guess we 
is an option, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think the same with Jinx. I think Jinx is actually playable, but I don't want to play Jinx if I can play Aphelios. Know, Aphelios pretty much any time in solo queue. Yeah. Uh, like, there's just no point. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Tristana. Vayne is relevant, Vayne. I think. Like, yeah, Vayne, Vayne is only relevant if she has a good draft. If she's... A perfect draft. Not even but good even draft. So, like, perfect which... draft. Name one champ you would play Vayne into. <laughs> yeah. Like, you... on a run, like, okay, you Cyan can play maybe. into Sivir. No, but I would... Mundo. If I saw Mundo. Cyan, Mundo. Yeah, like, like, uh, like, I'm just saying, like, on a run, any champ in the SR8 here, I just would not want to play Vayne, Vayne into. Yes, I would never, like, yeah. Estrel is the only one you could argue for, but Estrel is the only one where I would rather play any of the other champs. Yeah, but you're right, like, if you want to pick Vayne, you would rather just pick Aphelios instead. Yes. Or Savior. Like, yeah, it's just there's no point for Vayne ever. She has yeah. to be extremely over uh, overstated to be good. She's just not so. I will just put her here for now. Yeah, but I think Saya for me, is the one champ where in some games she's actually, eight, like, she can actually be OP. Like, if enemies are running into you and you're playing against, for example, Vi, Vi like... Yeah, Vi, Vi Malphite, Yasuo, Malphite, stuff like Yasuo, that. Yasuo, yeah, yes. Um, if it's good draft, I think it's fine. Like you can definitely play it, right? Um, if it's perfect draft, then you have last pick. But obviously, yeah. we also want to communicate in draft because draft is so fucking important. Yeah, like uh, if you do, aren't telling your teammates to pick your cha your champs when they become good in the draft, like you yeah. can win so many solo queue games by that. You like, can. You can. Just get get me Sivir or MF or whatever blind pick. You're like, okay, this I can just play here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you s enemies show their role. It's like most of the time, even if your teammates are not gonna pick something different, it's like the enemies won't pick what's best, yeah. and that's the most important part. Yes, 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 yes. Um, but yeah, uh, let me see. Is there anything else relevant? Yeah, uh, Tristana maybe. <laughs> Beats you yeah. for me at least. It's like, why am I playing this champ? Like I'm. I'm I'm flipping like it's like playing Samira but a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's like a, a, a C tier, uh, a B tier Samira, and Samira is like C tier. Siri, Siri, I think she's after the changes. Man, she got, she got got pretty it. hard. Yeah, I think she's like I honestly okay maybe she is still like playable but like I'm like Not I'm in the, the same boat now. Care. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, why would I ever play Siri when I can play Sevier? Yeah, MF, yeah, 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 yeah. like Aphelios even like uh, at this point I would rather want to play all those. Um, Kaisa, Senna, I guess uh, the rest are the last Ka two. Kaisa, I, I, I don't about. think is uh, Kaisa's B tier at best. Like she's not good. She's I probably know, I'll, even worse. Probably dog tier, right? I'll, yes. I'll make dog tier for her, but uh, they don't care. Yeah, I, we yeah. won't even put her here. Yes, and then um, there is what did you say? Kaisa, Senna, 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 yeah, no. Senna Like Senna Seraphine is OP, but that's because of the Seraphine. Uh, Sundra, I Sundra, would has, Sundra would have to be perfect. So I would yes. put her here and then I will put Senna here, but we're not going to play Senna. And that's about it. I don't think the rest are relevant. Yeah, there's like uh, stuff like Yasuo, but even Yasuo, like name name think, one bot lane. I think well, Yasuo is fine if if you yeah, but, can't play other ADCs. <laughs> you no, know? but I, th I think Yasuo is good. But I think the only reason he's good is because you can pick him like early into stuff like in theory Seraphine. Where yeah. it's like, oh, you can flex it into the Seraphine. Yes. You can play it in multiple roles. You can play it with different combos. Like in competitive, in, in solo queue, it's like, th th yeah. there's no reason to play you it. Need, you need perfect setup in solo queue. And they, they're only good, like not the only good, but the good thing about him is that generally speaking, ADCs don't know how to play against it. Um, yeah, true. So, so they, they get punished in that regard. But there's no point playing it. Like, you are not that good on Yasu that I care about putting it on, you know? Yeah, no. Um, uh, but actually, that's not true on my Yasu. That is true. Okay. That is true. You are shit. <laughs> okay. No, uh, let's make <laughs> champ list. I think we just call it champ list instead of, like, the actual patch. And then every single time there's a new patch, we just quickly update it, if yeah. needed. And we just quickly update this one as well. Um, but generally speaking, I would say I think four champions. I would say, I, the, like, my best, like, the champs we should blind, like, I'm 
my MF is a bit rusty because I haven't played it. In, like I didn't play it in solo queue yet because I was playing competitive, right? So and it was not like it was still fine on the competitive patch, but yeah, uh, it's not as good. It was. As it was yeah. So uh, MF, Severe, and Seraphine, I think, are the like the most OP. I think Seraphine only kind of like is a fine blind pick, but you know you need AD in your comp, so you need to see your own team comp. Yeah. And then, um, like Caitlyn, I think is a good counter pick. Uh, we can add Seraphine and Soraka both. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Seraphine and Soraka, but but I can't do both. I think I will just do one more. Um, <laughs> you know, it has to just be Tamers that you are one hundred percent, one hundred million percent comfortable I'd, on. Okay, I think then I would most like if my Aphelios is really good, like unironically. I think counter pick. As blinded. a counter pick, as a blind, like I do both. Like in solo queue, I kind of blind it. I was gonna say a word I can say pretty, pretty, pretty fucking cracked. You can say no, I, I'm, no, I, I can't it, say it. I think you can say what you what you're gonna say or what you want to say. Okay, I, I'm a weird person. No, write I, it to me first. If it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, don't, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> now, now they want to know. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> no, no, shut! I showed it on my screen. I mean, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You don't have enough viewers for them to care about. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Okay. Whatever. Um... Okay. Yeah. You satisfied to this? Okay, communication patterns. Uh, we talked about this yesterday, but just for the sake of the stream, should maybe add on, you know, like the draft part in terms of communication in draft. You know, the bare minimum, like you can pick me here. Uh, I think if you yeah. talk about like what your players should pick, sometimes they can get you know butthurt about it. So uh, yeah, I think. I think even like I, I actually I think most of the time you can say like maybe this is good here. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you say it in like the the most humble way, I think yeah. it's completely fine. But that's something you know. Then I will have to change it, and I don't mind doing that. I can do that. Uh, make like an actual. Uh, obviously, when it comes to communication, uh, what have you done in the past in terms of like communicating to jungle, communicating to support? It's kind of just you know we. <laughs> Me and Stan, we talk about like mainly solo queue. I think in okay. in, in competitive is obviously. Yeah, okay, in solo queue, I usually just uh, sometimes I write in chat like, oh, don't, like for example, don't fight pre-level six or so, or like pre-level five or four, whatever. Yeah. If I'm playing like a like Sivian to Draven or something, where I'm like, okay, just chill, um, or like I want to cheat or, or something. Usually, like mm -hmm. you know. The Depends most basic the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all, like mostly it's just like sometimes I, I say like oh crash here and base or something like I write like uh, base or you know, like let's base or whatever mm -hmm. uh, and ping. Mainly in the like, moment. Yeah, like like I I think of it beforehand, but then obviously I go back to base and then I ping my support away and say go base. You are playing at a level where we can expect certain things from certain players, so certain things that you can say. Are gonna be relevant because they also play for the competitive reasons. Sometimes you get one to like one to X, but sometimes they also actually understand, you know, the basics. Yeah. Um, oh. So before game in champ select, we just think about level one wards, uh, our wards, their wards, what we're trying to achieve with the wards. Um, you know, when I talk about level one wards, I also mean, you know, when we recall level three, for example, that's also a ward we would be thinking about um, enemy pathing and our pathing because that is so fucking important for yeah, how no. we path that's like or not how we path how we play yeah um, because it will basically mean it will set the pace and then level 1 invades of course you can straight up win games from level 1 invade and you can also lose the games from level 1 invade your brain AFK yeah, yeah even if it's not on your side, you know, if it's even, if it's, if it's top side, I still want you to just, you know, make them aware of it. Let's say they have like Darius, Olaf, top mid jungle, and we have like maybe Hecarim, Orn or something. You should say, uh, guys, they can t the top invade, uh, maybe start bot side. You know, don't say yeah. start bot side, just say maybe, because that way, you know, you're not coming yeah, off as a, yeah, as a yeah, dick. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. For sure. uh, even if you should say you know start by set it's just if you have yeah. a humble approach they will also you know think it of it like, like yes you know what I'm suggesting yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the first three to six waves we always want to plan ahead we always want to think how we're we gonna play it in terms of uh, wave control in terms of positioning in lane in terms of uh, you know trading in terms of everything that's just the entire plan we will talk about it in draft the moment we see laning phase um, or the 2v2 we will talk about it and we will just set you know our plan because that way I have to talk very very little in the game I don't want to talk in the game uh, mm. more than needed that's that will we do that, that like that will do and what uh, because it will just stress you the fuck out um, and then yeah we, it doesn't also yeah. just really like usually it doesn't even help that much unless yeah, it's like yeah, oh yeah. go base now or something it's like bro i'm pro i can't process that information at all yes, you know yes, i'm yes. playing the game if i say go fight go fight yeah <laughs> space yeah, walk it's... here walk here you know it's, just, yeah. it's just not gonna work you have to obviously make the plan beforehand because that way i have to talk very little yeah communicate plans to jungle you know what does it have what you can change that but you should always make it a good habit because when you play yeah. competitive play the plan the overall plan, even if it's not up, to, like even if it's not on your side, should still be communicated. It's just very, very important that you don't, you know, if you have a plan in mind and the jungler says uh, no or doesn't want to do it, that you still, yeah, you know, then you change it. You don't, you have to adapt. You have to be able to adapt at all times yeah. to what your teammates does, instead of just being, you know, um, what's it called when you have like tunnel vision. When you, instead of tunnel visioning on on this one plan that we had. Uh, beforehand if he doesn't communicate obviously then we just have to see how he moves on the map something that i used to do which helped me a lot is i have chat on but i have everyone muted so they I, you know i will say my stuff but i will not hear what they say but i think what yeah. we will do is we will have everyone uh, everyone is able to speak up from our team and then if someone is being negative just like a slight negativity insta mute everything and yeah keep playing uh yeah and then think about what we theoretically should be playing for first. You know, it's very important that we create competitive uh, habits and not solo queue habits because it's not important solo queue habits. And you can definitely get rank one if you play the game as it's like competitive play. Yeah. So um, we think about what we should like theoretically should be playing for. So let's say we play for first strike. Okay, good. If that's what we play for, that's what we that that's what we communicate to the team. Let's play for first strike, and then we play the waves accordingly, right? But if it doesn't happen, you know, that's why there's a solo queue here. Then we have to adapt to the moment. Like, what, 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 yeah. what is the next play, right? And then in-game, we always communicate in waves and we think and we play in tempo. We never just want to play on, on, on random situations, right? We want to to try our best to, to uh, visualize the game and visualize situations so that we always know what is about to happen and when it happens you already know so you can play it uh, to the best of your ability and then we play and we think at the time of course it's interlocked with the other ones swap fundamentals in terms of herald uh, even if we can't or we won't swap it's still important to think about it because again we play the game it's a, for competitive it's a good habit. Yes. yes we we try to create competitive good habits uh, even if it might lose you one solo queue game i couldn't care less because yeah. Again, the end goal isn't to be a good solo queue player. It's just naturally gonna be there, you know. It's not even. It most likely won't even lo like do anything. It's just yeah, like yeah. if you're like aware of like we can swap here. Like I should swap here or like oh, but you know my top lane is walking top. That's fine. I just walk but mm -hmm. but it's like then in a competitive game you would just be say like see the situation be like we should swap here and then tell your top lane and he would be like yeah let's swap you know yeah yep yep so. So as long as you say it in good time, right? In terms of maybe we are slow pushing three waves and we crash, and then on the slow push, the actual slow push, we say, uh, can we swap here? And then if he doesn't communicate or say anything, you know, then we might just we might even just run up there and get the herald. Um, yeah. At that point, and then you know, then we might take the small L on the wave state, but we will we might take a huge win on the fight. That just depends. Um, mm -hmm. Then we play the game like it's competitive. Right, it's very fucking important, so we don't create bad habits. Uh, but obviously, with a little twist, because there's some certain situations will happen that you don't have any control over, and then we have to adapt. Yeah, you just have to deal with it. 
Yeah, and of course it's important that you enjoy the actual journey and not uh, think about the end goal or the, you know, we don't think about rank 1 necessarily. We just enjoy the every single game and you are present. Yes. Like it's, it's just a, enjoying it's about the journey. It's about it's, the, it's about the journey, it's not about the end goal. Uh, I had like I talked with someone that said something very interesting that everyone knows but maybe don't realize. It was a guy who could like juggle seven like balls or like he could also juggle like different types of like uh, other stuff and he was like the reason why i can do this is not because i think juggling is cool or like <laughs> it's like i think juggling is cool but i can't do it it's because he likes how it is to learn to juggle like he likes yeah. learning to juggle yeah it's like and it's like that's the only reason you become good at something I would, I would love to play an instrument, but I don't like learning an instrument. Yes. That's why I don't. That's why I can't play an instrument. But yeah. the people that like doing it are the people that actually end up becoming really good at it. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. And it's the same here, right? It's the exact yeah, same. Yeah, you like League of Legends. You have passion for the game, so you need to add in the documents, and then you follow them to the best of your ability, and you try, you know, to stay disciplined. So. If you didn't read it one game, then you might read it two times the next the next game. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have realistic expectations to your teammates, because obviously you you know the jungler can be you know world class jungler uh, one game, and then the next game it can be one trick sack player uh, that only knows how to play sack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no hate to engage or anything. Uh, but that was just the person that came into my mind. Um, <laughs> so I have some unresolved issues there. <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little job there. Um, no, but you have to obviously realize who you're playing with. The high elo community is very, very little. So you always know who you are, who you're playing with and who you're playing against. All right, guys. See you. Uh, next stream isn't guaranteed, but I will say yeah. it a day before. Okay. Thank you.